Hi everyone, it's Megan and I am back with my July book haul. Yes, I am aware that it's currently September and I am only just doing my July book haul, but I don't really know what happened. I did the entire of the Booktubeathon and for some reason seven videos in, in seven days was just too much for me, so I just forgot to make the rest. But I'm finally back and thought I would give you this one before my August book haul, before my inevitable September one. So, let's get started. The first book I'm hauling is Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab. I have already read this. I read this for Booktubeathon, which you can see in my wrap-up, which is my last video. I'll link it down below. And I absolutely loved this book. It was amazing. It's the sequel to This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab and is the final book in the Monsters of Verity duology. I loved it. Please read it. It's amazing. The next book I got is The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. I've been wanting this for so long and then in July me and my fiancé went away to York for our anniversary. We went into the York Waterstones and they had this on the shelf so naturally because I have no self restraint I went and got it because it's also floppy and I love a good floppy book and I've wanted this for forever. I haven't read it yet because why would I do that when, you know, my never ending TBR just keeps growing? The next book is Nemesis by Brendan Rikes. I've been wanting this for a while, but they only released it over here in the UK in hardback first. And I'm not really a fan of collecting hardbacks because they take up a lot more room on my shelf. So I wanted to wait for it in paperback and then I finally found it in Waterstone. And it has gorgeous red spray pages, so as soon as I saw that I was like, I'm, I'm going to get it. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm so excited. Then I got How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. I got this because uh, Matt Haig wrote Reason to Stay Alive, which if you check my final Booktubeathon video, you can see me talk about it and why it means so much to me. And so when I realised he was releasing another book, of course it was going to be on my TBR. And then I went on Amazon and found V. They had it in hardback, newly released for £5, so yeah, I got it, like literally that day. The next book I got is God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. I was lucky enough to get an arc of this book and I'm so excited because I've got the arc, I read the arc as soon as I got it and all I want to do is reread it forever and ever because this is one of my favourite series and this book is just filled with heartbreak and love and everything that is good in the world. So if you haven't read this series I really recommend that you do because it's amazing. So yeah, please read it. The next book I got is probably one that I didn't necessarily need to get because I do own another copy of it and that is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. Um, I got this because it's the 20th anniversary edition and I'm a Hufflepuff and it's gorgeous. I'm so happy we finally have something to do with Hufflepuffs because we are a very unloved house and we deserve love. So to all our fellow Hufflepuffs, this is this is for us, this is our time to shine. And we have the cover that looks a bit like a bumblebee, which is cute and I just love it. It's got all the special information about it, it's just, it's beautiful. I had to get it. I mean, I probably didn't, but I did anyway. At least I've only got one copy. I could have bought all of them. Tempting, but I didn't. So as I said, it was mine and my fiancé's anniversary in July so he was very kind and bought me one of my favourite book series which is the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan. I literally love this series. I read them a long time ago but I completely loved them but I've never actually owned my own copies of them so then when I found that they had these snazzy spined editions and I'm a sucker for a snazzy cover my fiance Ben was very kind and bought them for me and they're beautiful and I love them and they've got a nice box I just I'm so happy to have them finally and I've already read them so technically they don't go on my TBR officially I am going to read them again but that's not the point they're not officially on there I've got away with it so that is my July book haul I'm so sorry that this is so late but I guess better late than never maybe I really hope you liked this video, leave a comment below if you liked any of the books that I've hauled or whether you've got them, whether you read them, just anything that you want to talk about. 
I'll have a video up very soon of my August book haul and then an August wrap up for you because I read a lot of books last month. Like, I am so proud of myself. But anyway, I really hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys!